Hello everyone, welcome to the Thankful Palette. My name is Tracy and today I'm joined by a impromptu guest. <laughs> so Victoria just called me a couple minutes ago and said, hey, my class ended. I can hop on and paint if you want company. And I said, absolutely, glad to have you. So we're a few minutes late just because I wanted to have her and I in the picture and then of course, our painting in the picture for you guys to see it. So if you're joining us here, um, let us know that you're here. Um, drop us a line below. Um, it's always fun to know who's joining us. So today, this is what we're going to be painting. Um, basically, it's a very beachy, very sunny um, background with some palm trees. And um, I just see Carrie hopped on. Hey, Carrie. And this <laughs> this is actually um, Carrie. She sent me a message and said, hey, can we paint this one night? So here we are. And I am super excited about painting this. Um, I actually did a couple of takes on it, um, as well as today even. <laughs> hey, Kimmy, so glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're painting tonight. I can't wait to see. Um, so we are going to get started. Okay, so I am using a 9 by 12 um, canvas right here. And you'll see here um, that it is the thicker canvas. And Victoria, what are you painting on um, tonight? I'm using the 9 by 12 mix Okay, awesome. So whatever you have to paint on is certainly fine um and i just see that colleen hopped on she's not painting tonight though but she's on and i'm glad that she's on tonight i'm glad that she's home enough to join us tonight all right so let's get started um and i could hear my dog crying and i'm sorry <laughs> she wants to come in and i have too many things going on to let her in so maybe another night she'll join us but not tonight all right, so what we're going to start with tonight is, is we're going to do our um, background and I'm just dropping something, sorry. We are going to start with um, purples up top and we're going to actually use um, four different colors for our sky. So I'm going to show them. We're going to start with a purple. Josh says hello. Hey, Cash, how are you, buddy? We are going to use a grape taffy, a pink, and a light pink. And then, of course, we'll be using a black for the palm tree. So we're going to basically use five colors. Um, basically, if you don't have those exact colors, that's okay. You want to start basically with a darker purple and go down to a lighter one as well as have um, a pink one and a lighter pink um, for this background. All right, so what we're gonna do is start with a uh, thicker brush and I'm gonna use my um, thicker brush that I always pretty much use. And I'm using the same colors as you, exactly the same colors. Awesome. So I'm just going to put some, and I'm going to move my mix media palette over here so you can see, or not my, my palette over here for you to see. Basically, I'm going to get some purple, and then I'm going to put also down the great taffy right next to it because I'll use these colors side by side. But first, we're going to start with this darker purple. And after I wetted my brush with the water and dabbed it out, I'm just loading it with the dark purple. Yes, Carrie, we worked hard. That's kind of actually, we were, I was having some technical difficulties and with trying to get the overhead. And I know it's important for you to see overhead. So that's why we're a couple minutes late. So, but I think you can see better. So we might stick with this setup going forward. Um, especially when Victoria is on, but I think maybe when it's just me painting too, we'll see. All right, so what you're going to do is start at the top of your um, palette, or I always call it palette, canvas, and if you're not going to frame this, you're going to want to make sure that you get your sides. Oh. 
And just like that, I dropped the paintbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> well, um, can we um, we'll work on that. <laughs> All right. So again, just make sure you get your sides. And I'm gonna go down probably two paintbrush lengths with just this um, solid color purple. And again, you have to just kind of look at your paper and if you're going on something bigger, you might have to do three or four. And then with the purple, dark purple on one side of the brush and the light side, I'm gonna go back and forth like this. So I'm double loading my brush for this next part, okay? And again, start at the top and go back and forth. And then you'll see that your you're blending the colors together. And again, I'm going to do this for about two. Just down. And then I'm going to just do the um, grape taffy for the next one. And you could see how it starts to gradually go down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I picked it up, I put my hand in it. Okay, and then I'm going to do this purple down, and you can see I have some of the darker purple in there, but again, that's okay because you want it to be gradual, and this color is not like a horizon, it's, it's meant to be multicolored, this, this one. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the regular pink in. And um, if you're watching this on the replay, just let me know. Um, drop the word replay below so I know when you're watching it. And I'm going to go down with the pink mixed in with the purple, or not the purple, the grape taffy. And if you are working on a mixed media pad, pad like Victoria is, you'll see that um, like a dry, pretty fast. Very good. Um, so you're gonna have maybe a little bit of a harder time sh um, blending and that's okay. You just have to kind of work with it and just realize that that's a little bit of the surface that you're dealing with. Um, when you're working with the canvas, you are going to have more time. It's not going to dry as quickly. So again, I'm just touching up my sides. I'm sorry. Eileen says I make it look so easy. Uh, well, Thank you. <laughs> I try to make it as easy as I can for you guys to learn um, the different techniques and everything. And really, it's just a matter of practicing it um, and giving yourself some grace to know that, hey, the first couple of times I do this, it might not look as like you want it. And sometimes you just need to step back and look at it from a distance. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to hit mine with the blow dryer because um, I'm, especially because I'm working on the canvas. Victoria, I'm not sure if you will need to, but if you wanna just check, make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Carrie. <laughs> Yeah. 
And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to, um, just bear with me a second. We're, I'm going to put some light pink on top of here now. And I basically, if you look at my sample, there's some light up here. So now I'm going to take, now that this is dry a little bit, I'm going to take the light pink and add some light pink in there. And I'm going to use... A new brush just because I stuck it in there. And I'm just basically going in and I'm not looking to get a whole lot of paint. You can see that. I'm almost doing another. I'm sorry, go ahead. I will wipe some off my brush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking to like put some lines in there. Like it's almost like dry brushing. I just want some lighter colors up top here. And you're not really going to see this a whole lot. Because it's going to be behind the palm trees. So I'm actually mixing the light pink with some of the darkest purple that you're using and blending it in. And not perfectly, not like this, like randomly. I just want to check, um, make sure everybody can hear me. Is my sound okay? Um, if you could give me a thumbs up and let me know, I'd appreciate that. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the palm trees. And I just want to show you what we're going for. And this is basically just the palm tree with a white background. So basically what we're going to do first is just take our black and we're going to draw this stem. And we're going to do, as in our sample, where we have one smaller and so this one is not as tall as this one does. I keep calling it stem, but it's not a stem. It's the tree trunk. All right, and for this, I'm using this size brush. I'm gonna get it wet. And this is good. Yep, that's perfect. And again, whatever um, size brush you have is perfect. Um, so what you're going to want to do is do this trunk first and my paper is a little bit smaller than that um, mixed media pad that I used for the sample so you want to make sure you load your brush really good with paint and Let's do one about here. Get this all filled in before I add my second one. And this I'm just doing on the tip of a flat brush. So how's everybody's day today? I had a busy day today. You had a busy day? Yeah, going on. And then I took a nap and may or may not have woken up a half hour before class <laughs> and that did not give me enough time to make dinner. So after this, I'm probably gonna make dinner. <laughs> 
And then this one, I'm just going to go up a little bit further than that. And again, you could make this as thick or as thin as you want. And then if you're painting along and you're part of my um, free group, please drop your pictures in there. I love seeing them. Um, I, I love to see everybody taking time and just enjoying themselves and making some art. Okay, so now you have two choices here. You could go ahead and you could just the brush the the palm trees or if you wanted to take a piece of chalk and kind of put where your branches are going to go you could do that um, or a pencil whatever you're comfortable with um, I'm going to just kind of start going and I think I'm going to do this guy first the little guy so basically what I want to do is um, if you look at this sample, you see like I almost made a V up here. So you don't want to necessarily make up top up here. So maybe you want to go like this and go like that. And then all you're going to do is come off of this limb that you made and you're just going to start pulling out. like that okay and then let's go this way first and then again all you're going to do is pull your from this center and just make sure when you're doing this, you're on the tip of the brush. Yeah, I'm just going to come and keep doing the same thing. Because this canvas is a little bit um, smaller, I can't make my palm tree as big as this one, whereas I filled the whole paper or very good Victoria and we're going to we're going to keep going around um, this one I did the branches a little bit different but you could see they take up a sizable portion of the top half um, they're bigger but that's because the surface was bigger so So there's that one. And now, essentially what I'm going to be doing is in some spots, I'm going to be going over this, this palm tree right here, and that's okay. Um, so let me make this one come up like this and go off to this off the side. I think I messed, huh? I think I messed mine up. Why? Well, let me see. It's so bad. <laughs> Let us see. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so glad that you're joining us. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm crying. You're crying. Let us see, Victoria, what you're doing here. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. <laughs> I don't think it's terrible at all. Why do you think it's terrible? It just looks like a random line. No, I think, I think it looks great. Oh, oh my more of the tip of the brush and you're using more 
you're pulling and pressing, whereas I'm like barely even pressing. So that's why your branches are thicker than my branches. So when you're doing this, if you, <laughs> you are gonna, like that, that one should be thick, but then all these, <laughs> I'm barely touching. You see how that one I touched more and it got thicker? Do you think it's No, you're, it's your pressure. Oh. <laughs> so that, this one is just make sure your paintbrush is loaded. And then you could see where I put more pressure down. I'm getting thicker branches. Okay. <laughs> um. And now you can see where I'm going off. I'm going over top the one that's in the background, and that's fine. Maybe it'll be better when I do the other one. <laughs> oh, my paint is like new but it's getting stuck like it's old um maybe you left something open at some point maybe another <laughs> nope you're good and this one i think i'm gonna come in here i just feel like i want to put another one right here it's not quite on the How's everybody doing? You can see I'm just barely putting any pressure and just putting it down and twisting it a little bit. This is not <laughs> Victoria, we need to see your painting so we can see if you need to fix something or if you're just being over critical here. I'm gonna mail it to one of the What do you think? Do you think she's being over critical or do you think it looks bad? I didn't see it. Can you show it to see, me? No. Let's see it. I <laughs> so I know exactly what you did wrong. It doesn't look bad. But if you notice here, I started from here. Like everything's from the top of where my trunk was. That's what I did. <laughs> So it maybe it might be easier to see on the black and white. So everything is from this point here. Okay. Yeah, but I thought I did that. I don't think so. So pull yours up. Mine was shorter, and I went too high. I got a little over. Like this one was supposed to be shorter, and okay. you see that I brought it all. <laughs> right. So then. Essentially, what you did was you you made it look like you had branches down here. Yeah. No. So that's just a tip for everybody who's going to paint this or who is painting this is when you're doing these the branches, you want to start that all from here, on the top of your trunk, and then just pull down. Can can we show them my other version? Absolutely. You could show them their, your other version that we did the other night. So the other night, we wanted to hang out and practice together. So we painted this together. And I will say that I think that I got a little bit better because 
my first set of trees look like this. <laughs> So I think that I kind of got a little bit better. <laughs> so okay. So good. And, and that's just, the, that's, uh, I think as Eileen said, that it may, I make it look easy. It's just because I'm practicing. So today, again, even though I had practiced my sample and I was okay with the sample, I was not 100% happy with the way the palm tree went. So what I did was, and this is just will help you guys out when you're looking is is I went and I looked at pictures of palm trees and I'm I'm like okay so now I need to see how I'm going to take that and make it look like that in paint and what I noticed was is and there's different types of palm trees as well but this was the style I really liked the way it looked so I noticed that everything came from the center here and I liked the way this type of palm tree looked. Now, Carrie says tonight looks better, Victoria, and I agree that it looks better. So again, you got a little bit better, and that's the whole point. Every time that you take the time to practice, it's just like anything else. The more you practice, the more you're going to get better. So. I think it's fine. It doesn't matter. I can back on myself. <laughs> So, are you completely finished? Yeah, and then I wrote my initials on it. I didn't use the smaller brush. <laughs> oh. She's <laughs> silly. <laughs> very good. She initialed hers. I'm very. Oh, wait, I need to take my beautiful palm trees and claim them as their own. You <laughs> should um, work. Um, and I think we talked about, did we talk about this? Did you and I talk about it, Victoria? Signing work? Then she can't, <laughs> Colleen <laughs> says, I can't stop laughing. I love your sense of adventure. And this, that's awesome. That's what it's all about. Me either. <laughs> I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> um, I think we did talk about signing your work. I can't, can't remember if you and I talked about it or if we talked about it on a video i'm not sure um but you should definitely sign your work um i think victoria's frozen right now i'm not sure what's going on nope she yeah. yep, she's freezing sorry okay oh, I'm here now. <laughs> so, well, that's a bad face for me to freeze on <laughs> like i see it on my phone um, I reply to the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, I know I had fun, and I think Victoria had fun painting with you tonight. I look forward to seeing you all again live. Um, next week's schedule is um, I will be doing a live video. I have some tricks that I want to show you next um, Tuesday to make actually anything like this easier for you as well as we'll, I'll go live on Wednesday with that quick tidbit, just a couple minutes long, just to let you know a little tip to make your painting life in general easier. And then next Thursday, um, I will be live again um, with a treat that I'll probably release to you probably Wednesday night. You'll see the picture of what we're painting live next Thursday. And then, of course, Victoria and I will be live next Saturday and we didn't get together yet with what we were painting live I don't think um, on that Saturday so um, as always if you have something that you'd like to learn how to paint um, definitely send me a message um, and That's one thing I need to do <laughs> and Victoria says it's making something that she can do um, and again the whole point of this is just basic painting things um, we'll have we have a dip we'll have a different group set up if you want to learn more in detail. So um, this is just basic. Get started and put some paint on the canvas. So until next time, I hope you have a great night. I enjoyed painting with you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.